Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is LC, and today we're here with some more DC heroes and villains. Today we will just be comparing the very, very, very small amount of five stars. I'm just talking Aqualad and Ocean Master. I could do Mira too, but I'll save that for like another tier list video. I want to, you know, spread that out in a little bit um, in a timely fashion. But I'm just comparing the two. I want to see which one I would like more. Like if I were to like go for one, like specifically, which one I would go for more, which one I would use for my teams and, so, and stuff like that. Um, again, I don't have them because I keep getting shafted over and over and over again. But that's the life of a gacha gamer, but it's fine. It's totally fine. With that being said, I want to thank all of you guys for watching. Whether you're old or new viewers or subscriber, I appreciate it all the same. So let's get right into it. So just going over, um, just going over King Orm's uh, passive really quick. Immune to damage over time debuff at the start of each turn. Ocean Master has a hundred percent chance. Well, this is um fully maxed out by the way. Hundred percent chance to inflict Lagarthy debuff on a random enemy for five turns at the start of the battle. For each ally, convert one random tile into one tile of that ally's color. I think that's really nice. That's a really nice passive for him because even though again he is disruptive oriented. He has that supportive capability built into his kit, so he's not completely just like a one-man show, if that makes sense. Like, he's not limited to one single thing. He has more attributes that make him useful. And now onto his power move, attack attack random enemies, three hits. Damage multiplier, 88% per hit. Remove all debuffs from each, from each target. Inflict attack down debuff on each target for five turns. Inflict defense down deb debuff on each target for five turns. On a third hit, inflict lockdown debuff on the target for two turns. And again, this is fully maxed out. So again, yeah, th this hits just debuffing this everybody is like that's just like a very not underrated ability because it is very fairly prevalent in the game. But like I think his is definitely one of the most impressive in my my opinion. Um, you free to disagree, by the way. Um, I just think that his is way more useful than, like, than some other characters like Scarecrow, per, let's say like. I don't want to say Scarecrow is useless, like, it just depends on what team you're running, right? But, like, comparing the two, like, them two, it's like, Ocean Master, not even a second thought. Then again, he is a 5-star, so it makes sense, right? And also, putting, um, putting Ocean Master, let's say, on an all-purple team, I think that may be very beneficial, if you have some strong purple characters, by the way. Um, because, again, hit with this passive again, convert one random tile into one tile that, that allies color, and let's say, I don't know, if, I never tested it, so I don't know, but, um, let's say you do that, and, like, every purple character gets that one tile for them, right, so they get that, like, it's just a whole purple across the board, and let's say it fills up, um, the four-star Batman's power meter gauge, right, and I'm pretty sure, if I'm remembering Batman's kick correctly, um, when you use his power move, he fills up purple characters gauges or just like teammates around i'm not sure but i think it's their gauges he fills up I, I don't know if it's his teammates in general for his purple characters but i think it's teammates but yeah i'm just saying i think that if i'm understanding the kit correctly and correct me if i'm wrong might be it's been a hot minute since i've read batman's kit in ocean masters um if that's the case then i think you guys would have like never ending specials like it would go on well not go on constantly but like at least for the first like few interactions you would probably get a lot because you know at the start of each turn um giving the tiles and then batman just doing this thing over and over again so i think it might be very beneficial too if i'm putting raven in you can and i'm not saying she's not a beneficial purple character she is but i think joker might help you in a way but raven's good too i think um she might be add she might add to a lot to the purple element element as well if we decide to use it but again also using amanda waller hell yeah heck i mean it's sad that she got nerfed a little bit but i mean She's still on a bad unit. She's honestly, she can still work on this purple team. Now, moving on to Aqualad, he is the warrior type of character. Now, bringing to his passive, this is again fully maxed out. Aqualad's power move cannot be dodged or blocked. On critical hit, grant allies attack up buff for two turns. At the beginning of each turn, Aqualad had a 40% chance to gain critical up buff for two turns. It's pretty good. For his power move, suppress barriers on each target. Uh, inflict vulnerability debuff on target for two turns. If the target has a lockdown debuff, this attack will always be a critical hit. Attack a single enemy, three hits, damage will fire 68% per hit, and that is fully maxed out. Now, I think Aqualad is. He's not similar to King Orm, but I do, again, I do also like that they also built him in a way that he's not. Okay, he is heavily attack oriented, but he also buffs that up for his teammates too. So it's not like he's just buffing up himself, it's, he can also help his teammates too. And especially throwing him on the Atlantis team, that would be really beneficial. Um, I'm just thinking, 
like it's unfortunate that he was released too late because if it was if he was released with the same kit the same design whatever whatever that may be um before the red team nerf i think that the red team would, would have been unstoppable with the crits and everything and the attack up buffs it would be literally insane um like you put him in the two phase in the flash maybe halo if you want another like uh some barriers if you want to um maybe harley quinn if you like to or sears maybe again that's just like just off the top of my head but like that would be like a really formidable team i think but again it's it's sad he he didn't release it um release then but um for, yeah for now like i think ocean master is just slightly better just for what he does and then all the debuffs he knocks down but then again the reason why he has that because he's a disruptor unit so it's very again these are very hard to do because these characters are built around different subjects again aqualad's more of the warrior type so he's gonna focus on damage and stuff like that and king Norman's is focusing on disrupting the opponent's you know abilities and stuff like that so again it's very hard to gauge which was better overall but like i'm not gonna go over like stats and everything that's like that's not really beneficial but i think who was more useful i do think again ocean master but like to a slightly degree again attack up buffs are very important and i do appreciate that also critical up buffs are very important too to me um but again uh with the with ocean master being able to uh you know give colors to give colors to the allies it might just be one color but but it's still pretty useful the way i find it even though i don't have him i still think it's pretty useful in some instances um again it just depends who you pair him up with if you guys have him let me know who you guys pair him up with because i generally want to know how how ocean master is working for you if you have both of them actually let me know how they both fare for you do you like which one's better for you or do you just use use them on a sip on the same team i would use them on the same team if like if it came down to it right because again they both have the buff and everything i'm sorry Atlant the atlantean team <laughs> is a crack team i'm sorry the barriers they get is nuts and the like the sheer four kids on the team and then gaining a barrier for themselves it's just messed up bro <laughs> it's just messed up and the cracked up part about it is i'm pretty sure at least half of the like two of the two of the characters that we just got out of the four give i'm pretty sure it's mira and dolphin that both give barrier buffs so i'm like this is freaking insane i just want to see dolphins um uh passive really fast because see look dolphin gives a beer on herself equal to 50 percent max hp it fills the power gauge of atlantean allies by 30 percent that's i want her to come out bro she's not out yet and it's pissing me off i'm sorry it just gets me so upset that she's not out yet because she's so seems so useful um and then we get four characters on a team get 50 percent of max so i'm so is dolphin getting 30 percent of shield bit oh my gosh bro let me see mirror let me i'm pretty sure she has barriers too if not, I, I could be wrong, obviously. Um, generate a barrier on allies equal to 9% of mirrors. Actually. See, that's fully maxed out, but like, that's still freaking messed up, man. Like, <laughs> So, if you are if you are Dolphin, you're getting... Th and I, this is my, my math is correct. You're getting 39% of a shield barrier. Of course, it's of like HP, right? But like, that's still messed up. <laughs> that's still messed up, bro. Um, it'll be very hard. And if they have high defense, it'd be very hard to take them out. Very, very hard. But yeah, I'm sorry. Back to the main subject. Um, yeah, I do think King Orm is better, but honestly, it, again, it depends what you're using them for. I just think he's slightly better in terms of utility and you know his overall um, capabilities. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think of King Orm or Aqua. Let me know. Let me know which five star you think is better. Let me know which one you guys consider using, or if you just want to use them on the same team. That's totally fine with me. With that being said, my name is LC. Have an amazing day. God bless, and I'll see you all in the next DC Heroes and Villains video.